This is an electric trailer drum brake. The way that these brakes work is there's no hydraulic in the system at all. Rather, you have 12 volt power coming from your trailer brake controller. Comes through these two wires. One's positive, one's negative. Polarity doesn't matter. So you're gonna give one power and one a ground. This is all brand new from Timberin. Came with this new Timberin suspension setup that we have here. I've taken a couple of these videos. Now I'm on the sunny side, so it's a little bit hot, but I think you guys will get a better view. Um, so this is a trailer electric drum brake. You know it's electric because it doesn't have the piston up here. It has the brake cylinder, pardon me. It has this electric magnet down here. The way that these electric brakes work is similar to a car drum brake. They have a primary shoe, also known as the short shoe, and a secondary shoe or long shoe. And it's all based on the inertia of the wheel or the drum itself. So the drum spins around right here. And the way these work is, so we're on the, we're on the driver's side, forward momentum, forward motion is that way when you're in drive. So this magnet would be activated and it would slide like this, okay? So the magnet gets activated, slides like this, it activates this primary or short shoe, and then the inertia of the tire catches this, and this is a little bit harder to do, but it catches this and pushes the whole operation back. So, so you have this whole shifting. So the primary shoe catches it first, and its power is driven against the primary shoe, and then your secondary shoe takes up the secondary. In reverse, operates the same way, it's just that the shoes are not optimized. And so you can see in reverse, if I were to press it, it goes like that. The way that trailer brakes work is they're a 12 volt system. There's a magnet down inside here. Let me go activate the magnet. One quick tip is whenever you're working on your trailer, whether you want to torque your lug nuts or whatever when the tire's in the air, you can pull your breakaway wire and that will temporarily engage your, your brakes until you re-engage that. So I have a socket here with that breakaway disengaged. We should be getting 12 volt power through here since I am hooked up to my tow vehicle still. So I should be getting 12 volts here. My gain, now the other thing is, so this, this gets power through your trailer brake controller. Your trailer brake controller, when you set the gain, sets the current this receives. So if you have gain at one, and I, I don't exactly know how it works with breakaway, but if you have, when you're braking, if you have gain at one, then this has less power to it. There's a little bit more slipping on that face inside the drum that this, that this magnetizes itself to. At 10, you get this thing locked in, it locks in real hard electric magnet and it really slams that around and pulls this all forward darn it okay so a lot of times what i do is i'll clean off the grease first but then i change my gloves but it's so hot today my hands are sweaty so i'm trying to do this right now i uh, just touch the brakes first so this magnet should fit there we are see that socket fits now pretend that's a brake the brake drum going around with that face on there for this magnet this is the surface that the brake actuator rides on. And it would just pull it like this, boop, engage the brake. I've been having a hard time adjusting these brakes, so I thought I'd show you real quick. I actually had a set of spoons, or had a spoon, but it, it was too big, it didn't really work. So I had to go buy this smaller one today, and I'll show you how it works. Hard to see with the drum on, but with the drum off, it's real easy to see how you can adjust these brakes. Okay, this is for adjusting brakes. Now, um, these are the two adjustment ports right here. This is a lot easier with the wheel off and you can't adjust it with the drum off, but you can actually see what's going on. So normally you're trying to work through this little gap right there, my fingers poking out of, and you put your spoon in there, but it's nice to see how these actually work. Okay, now these brakes are automatic adjusting brakes, but that does not mean that you don't have to do some adjustment to them at intervals. I'm gonna try to get in here now that we're on the sunny side and let you see this. So if you were looking from the back of the drum, you could have your tire on for this and your drum brake. If you're looking back from the back of the brake plate, pardon me, the backing plate there. So you come in from the back of the backing plate with your spoon and it adjusts this wheel right here. And so that wheel is actually how you adjust the tension the set tension between the two braking surfaces. So in this case, we have the primary shoe here and the secondary shoe over here. And this wheel underneath, you can adjust this. Now there's also a catching plate on the wheel. And once I engage that wheel, I just give it a little push. And then there you are, you hear it click? That's all it needs. So you give it a couple of those and that tightens it. That elongates this bolt right here. 